Tony Yang is based in Cagayan de Oro where he owns multiple businesses. Nung nahuli si Tony Yang, may dala-dala po yung 1.4 million pesos in cash. Tulad po ni Michael Yang, that Alam Lin has a select number of associates. The most obvious figure in this network of companies of Alan Lim is his wife, Rose Nonolin. At isa siya na nagko-connect kay Michael Yang at Alan Lim. This is a known fact. Here we can see these persons are Jason Uson and Yung Ken Jing. Jason Uson, allegedly a Filipino citizen, consistently owns at least 60% of these companies in apparent compliance of our nationality requirement. On the other hand, Alan Lim, Rose Nonolin, a Filipino citizen identified to be his wife, is 60% owner, again, in compliance with our nationality requirement. But what is extremely suspicious here is the fact that two of these service providers, Torquoise and Shidaikeji, were found to be inside the Baofu compound sa teritoryo ni Alice Guo. Dito po natin makikita ang grupo ni Alice Guo na pawang nasa same circle and networks of friends. Si As Alan Lim and Michael Yang. May mga links din po ang mga personalidad dito. Si Zhang Zi na taga Singapore, ang dating presidente ng Lucky South 99, ay napabalitang tumulong kina Alice Guo at Kasi Ong para sa stay nila sa Indonesia. Si Duan Ren Yu Wu na nauugnay naman sa Whirlwind at Lucky South ay kay Kasi Ong ay namataan na kasama ni Alice Guo sa Indonesia. Ang investigasyon na ito na aming binibigyan ng panahon, pagod, ay simula lamang. We will come out with recommendation to address this. Mukhang matindi ang mga pasabog na ito ah. Alamin natin ang istorya. The criminal enterprise has penetrated us and has been operating with quiet impunity. Two main actors or players in the issue of drugs, illegal activities associated with POGOs. At ang dalawang aktor na ito, ipinakikilala ko po sa inyo si Michael Yang, at si Alan Lim. Marami nang naisulat at nireport at naging usap-usapan tungkol kay Michael Yang. Michael Yang has been linked to various controversies in the past. This includes, among others, his alleged involvement in the importation and proliferation of drugs into our country. Nadawid din po ang pangalan niya sa Farmali. Si Michael Yang din po ay ang former economic advisor appointed by the former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Then, there is Wei Zhong Lin aka Alan Lim. Kagaya po ni Michael, he is no stranger to articles written about him and other controversies. According to reports, Alan Lim and Michael Yang are business partners in the drug trade. Sila po ay tahasang pinangalanan ni Colonel Asierto as being so. At sa kanya din po ang isa sa mga naunang pogo sa ating bansa. In studying these individuals, napansin po natin that they use the same set of people and build multiple layers for their corporations. Layering, pero 
nabuko natin dahil sa pattern ng kanilang nominees. Pag nakita po natin ang kulay blue, ito po ay umuugnay kay Michael Yang. At ang kulay pula naman po, yan naman po ay konektado kay Alan Lim. Kung atin pong matatandaan, hindi bago ang pangalan na Jason Uson at Gerald Cruz. Dahil nadawit na po ito ang mga pangalan nila sa investigasyon ng Farmally. Ayon sa manakita naming sources at documents, ang mga personality na ito ay lahat based in Davao. At syempre, hindi natin pwede makalimutan ang mga kapatid ni Michael Yang. Recently po, lumutang ang panganay na si Yang Jian Jin, also known as Tony Yang or Antonio Maestrado Lim, at ang kapatid niyang si Yang Hong Jiang. Kamakailan lamang ay napag-alaman natin na nariyan din pala si Tony Lim. Davao City Los Amigos Plaza, DCLA, established by Michael Yang. Connected to this complex web of corporations that are involved in the proliferation of criminal activities in the Philippines. Base sa mga reports, ay itong DCLA Plaza ay ginagamit lamang bilang front ni Michael Yang to conduct his illegal activities. Dito daw, labas pasok ang mga drug couriers. Ang Yang Z Group Trading Company naman po ay isang korporasyon din na pagmamayari ni Hong Jiang Yang at Michael Yang na sangkot sa mga illegal importation ng mga iba't ibang mga goods. Puntahan naman natin si Yang Jian Jin o si Antonio Maestrado Lim. Si Tony Yang is the eldest brother among the Yang brothers. Siya daw ang totoong mastermind at architect sa lahat ng, op lahat ng operasyon ng criminal syndicate ng Yang brothers. Tony Yang is based in Cagayan de Oro where he owns multiple businesses katulad ng Nangyang Z Hotel, dating Pogo Hub, at ang Philippine Sanja Steel Corporation na involves sa rice smuggling at human trafficking. Siya din ang presidente at incorporator ng Oroan Incorporated, isang service provider for Shongwei Technologies na pagmamayari ni Alan Lim. Nung nahuli si Tony Yang, may daladala po yung 1.4 million pesos in cash at mga iba't ibang lisensya for firearms. Gusto ko pong bigyang pugay ang PAOK TF. Congratulations po sa inyong paghuli kay Tony Yang. Kay Tony Yang. Tulad po ni Michael Yang that Alam Lin has a select number of associates whose names constantly and consistently appear in corporations that are owned by him or we have observed are actually connected to him. The most obvious figure in this network of companies of Alan Lim is his wife, Rose Nonolin. At isa siya na nagko-connect kay Michael Yang at Alan Lim. This is a known fact. Ang entry point niya sa Pogo ay ang Shongwei Technology. Kung mapapansin niyo po, kapag binaliktad po natin yung pangalan na, in, na Shongwei, this is the Chinese name of Wei Zhong Lin, a.k.a. Alan Lim. Now, what is Shongwei Technology? Isa po ito sa mapangunahing pogo sa ating bansa. Using his identity as Lin Wei Zhong, served as chairman of this corporation. Shongwei is part of the network of companies belonging to Yang and Lim, which is involved in illegal activities in our country. 
was involved in five of the seven kidnapping cases reported by Colonel Rodolfo Castile Jr., the Philippine National Police Anti-Kidnapping Group. Balikan po natin ang ating paghihimay sa korporasyon ni Michael Yang at Alan Lim. Here we can see these persons are Jason Uson and Yung Kien Jing. It would appear that Jason Uson, allegedly a Filipino citizen, consistently owns at least 60% of these companies in apparent compliance of our nationality requirement. On the other hand, Alan Lim, Rose Nonolin, a Filipino citizen identified to be his wife, consistently appears as a shareholder in his companies. In XRA, XRL Holdings, Rose Nonolin is 60% owner, again, in compliance with our nationality requirement. Several companies, Piley Holdings Corporation and Piley Estate Group Corporation, appear to be 50% owned by the Michael Young Group and the Alan Lim Group, respectively. The same individuals, Jason Uson, Yung Kin Zheng, are shareholders of these corporations together with Michael Young. Meanwhile, Rose Nonolin, Alan Lim, our shareholders from the Alan Lim side. Sleepy naman po natin itong Piley Estate Corporation. Ano ang Piley Estate Group? Ang Piley Estate ang nagtayo ng Clark Majestic World, a mixed-use real estate development. Very similar ang mga condominium units dito sa mga residential units na ginagamit ng mga Pogo employees. The businesses of Michael Yang and Alan Lim seem to always be involved or associated with illegal activities. For example, there are reports that, that the people who were held captive were found inside the Clark Majestic World. Another company Providing the link between the partnership of Michael Yang and Alan Lim is the Philippine Full Win Group of Companies. Again, Alan Lim is not a direct shareholder of this company. His wife, Rose Nololin, is consistent po yan. Sa observasyon natin na itong si Rose Nololin is the representative, kumbaga, ng totoong may-ari na si Alan Lim. Similarly, Michael Yang has no direct shareholdings in the company. Jason Lim, Yung Kin Zheng are also shareholders of DCLA Plaza that own a substantial part in the full win. Mapapansin din po natin si Gerald Cruz. Kung atin po matatandaan, kasama ni Rose Nonolin, Si Gerald Cruz, sila po ang mga directors ng Farmally Biological Company, the sister company of the infamous Farmally Pharmaceuticals. Again, these personalities appear as dummies for Michael Young. Kapansin-pansin dito na parte sa korporasyon ang kapatid ni Michael Young na si Hong Zhang Yang. Tignan naman po natin ang karakter nitong si Hong Zhang Yang. Sino naman si Hong Zhang Yang? Ayon sa mga report, kapatid po siya ni Michael Yang. He was also identified as the manager of DCLA store of Michael Yang in Davao City. Napaka-interesting po na pumasok ang pangalan ni Hong Zhang Yang sa Qualified Trafficking Investigation in Bamban, Pogo Controversy. Bakit? It was reported that Hong Zhang Yang's accounts were linked to the transactions amounting to 3.2 billion pesos which were allegedly used to finance Hong Sheng. 
the same pogo which was raided in Tarlac and linked to Alice Guo's Baofu Land Development Incorporated. Sa madaling sabi, ka-joint account po ni Hong Zhang Yang, si Zheng Yu, na incorporator naman ng Hongsheng Gaming Technology. Flashback muna tayo at balikan po natin si Michael Yang na lumutang doon sa formally Senate hearing and investigation. It was established during the Senate hearings three years ago na itong si Michael Yang ang financier ng formally when it was involved in the procurement of face masks and PPEs. Medyo iba na ito kasi ang pinagkakakitaan niya ay hindi drugs, hindi pogo, kung hindi sa panahon ng pandemya na maraming Pilipino ang napaluhod at pinahirapan ng COVID-19, pinagkakitaan po ang kalagayan ng mamamayang Pilipino. Nakikita po natin sa slide na ito na parehas po ang modus na ginagamit ni Michael Yang at saka ni Alan Lim. Michael Yang Group using Gerald Cruz, Alan Lim Group using his wife, Rose Nonolin. Balikan na naman po natin ang Pogo. Usisain po natin ang Shongwei. Shongwei is the licensed Pogo of Alan Lim. Isa sa kanyang service providers ay itong Brick Hearts Technology. Brick Hearts. Kung susundan natin ang pattern appears to be owned by the tandem of Michael Yang and Alan Lim. And some individuals who were still inve investigating but coincidentally nung tininan po namin kung saan po sila nakatira lahat po sila mukhang nakatira sa Davao. At sino naman ang Brick Hearts? Ayon sa publicly available sources, makikita natin na noong 2022, Brick Hearts was involved in a kidnapping incident. It was found that a woman was kidnapped in Pasay, brought to a Pogo dorm in Cavite, where she was sold off to a Chinese national. Binenta ang isang Pilipina sa isang Chinese national. Pagkatapos nito, siya po ay binugbog. Dinala sa isang Pogo dorm in Shuangma Industrial Park in Cavite. Shuangma is run by Brick Hearts Technology. A similar kidnapping incident of a Chinese national was also reported here. Interestingly, Brick Hearts has the same address of Shongwei Technologies, which is owned by Alan Lim. Diba kabit kabit na? Corporate documents of Brick Hearts were also found in the Pogo Raid in Bamban, Tarlac. So makikita natin na habang itong Brick Hearts na based in Cavite, bakit ang papel, ang papel nito ay matatagpuan at nahanap sa Banban? Naglakad kaya ito o sumakay ng isang small boat papunta sa Banban? Let's dig deeper dito sa mga Pogo. Yan po ay ilan sa mga service providers of the Pogo of Alan Lim. Turquoise Diamond Technology, Shidai Keji Technology at Oroan Incorporated. Bago, bago pa lang natin ito malaman ang Oroan, sabay na po lumutang ang kapatid ni Michael Yang na si Tony Yang. Makikita natin dito ang iba-iba pang mga personalities na closely associated or dummies of Alan Lim. Makikita rin po natin dito ang link ni Alan Lim 
sa kuya ni Michael Yang na si Tony Yang. Puntahan naman natin itong Orowan Incorporated. Ano ang Orowan Incorporated? Ayon sa AOI or Articles of Incorporation ng Orowan, ito ay itinayo primary for the purpose of engaging in internet allied businesses and providing call center services sa business processing and outsourcing. However, it was later found out that Orowan was a customer relations service provider of one of Alan Lim's Pogo, which is Shongwei Technologies. Ayon sa mga news reports, meron ding unlawful activities na naganap sa Alwana Compound, Cagayan de Oro, where Orowan is located. Si Tony Yang, ang president at incorporator ng Orowan. At dito makikita ang direct link ni Tony Yang sa kaibigan at close associate ng kapatid niya na si Michael Yang at Alan Lee. Balik naman po tayo sa ibang service providers ng Shongwei ng Turquoise at Shirei Keji. Based on PAGCOR documents and records, Turquoise, Shidai Keji, and Orowan are service providers of Shongwei. But what is extremely suspicious here is the fact that two of these service providers, Turquoise and Shidai Keji, were found to be inside the Baofu compound sa teritoryo ni Alice Guo na ang pogo na ito ay ang Hongzhen, Zun Yuan. So ang tanong, bakit yun nandun? Dito po natin makikita ang grupo ni Alice Guo na pawang nasa same circle and networks of friends si As Alan Lim and Michael Yang. And as we know, ang Baofu ang kasunod. Diyes, sila ko muna ito. Big na malamig. Baka nauwaw ka na. Now, I'm sure given the current developments on Alice Guo that we are all familiar with. Ang Baofu compound, it is the biggest Pogo compound in Bamban. Tarlac and owned by Baofu Development Incorporated. Baofu equals Alice. Uulitin ko po na several service providers of Alan Lim's Shongwei Technologies are linked to Baofu. Customer relations providers of Xiong Wei Turquoise Diamond Technology Corporation and Shi Dai KG Technology Corporation can be found inside the Baofu compound. Brickhearts documents were likewise found inside the Baofu compound. Sino pa ang may link sa Baofu? Siyempre, ang Yang. Tinan po natin ang next slide. Ang link ay na kay Ong Jian Yang, ang kapatid ni Michael Yang. As stated kanina, ni Deputy Speaker J.J. Suarez, ka-joint account ni Ong Jiang Yang, si Zen Kang Yu, ang incorporator ng Hong Sheng. At sa usapin pa rin po ng Pogo, ay huwag din natin kakalimutan ang Porak Pampanga kung saan nakilala natin ang Lucky South 99. Ang Lucky South 99 naman 
ay pawang naugnay sa Ong Zheng Zunyuan dahil sa close association naman ng nakilala nating representative ng Lucky South na si Kasi Ong. Ang Lucky South 999 ay kilalang kilala na po natin. Sa raid na naganap dyan ay kahindik-hindik na krimen po ang nakadiskubre natin dyan. Nariyan ang mga kinidnap, tinorture, pinatay, mga na-recover na videos na may nalalaman po ng pag-aabuso sa mga kababahiyan o iba pang sex crimes o mga cyber scams. So bakit po natin sinasabing kahit papaano ay kasama ito sa web? Dahil po naman, yan ang makikita nating koneksyon dito sa Hong Zheng Zun Yuan o ang Baofu. Tinan po natin ang links. Una po, it follows the same pattern o modus operandi. Nagsisimula po ito sa pagbili ng mga hektaryang lupain kung sa bamban ay namili ay namili ay ang Baofu sa Porak. Ang namili ay ang whirlwind. Pagkatapos po niyan ay magtatayo ng mga structures o buildings. Diyan kung titingnan mo ang halos pare-parehong lang ang prison like facilities. At halos kasabay ng pagtatayo ng physical structure ay mag apply po ito ng Pogo License. Sa Banban, ito ang Ongsen o Sunyuan sa Porak. Ito naman ang Lucky South 99. May mga links din po ang mga personalidad dito. Si Zhang Zi na taga Singapore, ang dating presidente ng Lucky South 99, ay napabalitang tumulong kina Alice Guo at Kasi Ong para sa stay nila sa Indonesia. Si Duan Ren Yu Wu na nauugnay naman sa Whirlwind at Lucky South ay kay Kasi Ong ay namataan na kasama ni Alice Guo sa Indonesia. At alam po naman natin na kasama si Kasi Ong ang pamilya Guo, abang sila ay nasa ibang, ibang bansa sa tangkang tumakas sa lahat ng nakakabit na kontrobersya nila dito sa ating bansa sa Pilipinas. Maliban sa mga links ng ganyan, ang mga nag operate within the Pogo compound sa Banban at sa Porak ay pare-parehong sangkot sa mga krimen na human trafficking, cyber crimes, at kung ano-ano pa. Bakit po natin sinasabing kasama rin po dito? Kasi ganyan po ang criminal enterprise. Ang criminal enterprise as defined, it is a group of individuals with an identified hierarchy or comparable structure engaged in criminality activity. Balikan po natin sina Michael Yang, sina Alan Lim, sa Pogo lang ba? Hindi po. Hindi lang Pogo at Parmali may drugs pa po. May drugs pa po. Tinan po natin yung next slide. The Michael Yang and Alan Lim group as shown here are linked to Golden Sun Golden Sun 999 which is significant because it connects it connects us to Empire 999 na makikita natin mamaya na heavily involved pala sa mass land acquisition and drugs ang layo na po ang inabot ng mga korporasyon at mga krimen at nakikita po natin na konektado pa rin 
Relevantly, the connection lies in the interlocking directors or common incorporators, shareholders among these corporations. As mentioned earlier, Rose Nono Lim, the wife of Alan Lim, and Gerald Cruz, and Lincoln Ong, known as associates of Michael Young, were all implicated in the family scandal. Both Rose Donolin and Gerald Cruz are incorporators of Golden Sun 999 along with I.D. Tay Young. I.D. Tay Young is also an incorporator of Empire 999 Realty Corporation where it was reported that almost 3.6 billion worth of shabu was found and confiscated. This warehouse is owned by Mr. Willie Ong, an incorporator of both Empire 999 and Sunflare Industrial Corporation. Lincoln Ong, who is also an incorporator of Farmerly Pharmaceutical and IDT Young, who is an incorporator of Golden Sun 999 and Empire 999, are also both incorporators of Mexico 999. Sino po si Empire 999? Tingnan po natin. Empire 999 Realty Corporation is a registered corporation with the SEC since 2015, with some of its incorporators being Willie Ong, I.D. Tiyang, Tiyang, Jack Tiyang, and Alvin Ganituen. As shown, these people are the same people who provide the link between what appears to be an entity owned by Yang and Lim, which is Golden Sun 999 to Empire 999. Empire 999 has been reported to be involved in illegal drug activities in the country which is owned warehouse being the recipient of the at least 560 kilos of shabu with an estimated cost of 3.6 billion pesos. This shabu were reported the ship from Bangkok, Thailand. Makikita po natin na nag naglipa na sa ating bansa ang mga ito. Ang Young Brothers na si Michael Young, Ong Jiang Young, at si Tony Young ang dito na, pati ang close associate ni Michael Young na si Alan Lim. Nandito din si Ma'am Alice Guo at malamang ang mga tao sa likod ng Lucky South 99 as presented by Kasi Ong. Dito makikita natin ay bawat isa-isa kanila isa-isa sa kanila ay may iba't ibang focus o areas of influence sa ating bansa. These Chinese nationals are setting up corporations all over the country, taking advantage to our laws by perpetrating and promoting illegal activities. So the great prejudice of our country and Filipino people. Narian po tayo ngayon. Such is the sorry stake of our country. Kaya po tayo ngayon nandito. Mayroon po tayong pinormang quadcom. Hindi lang konektado ang mga krimen, konektado rin pala ang mga tao na nagpapalakad ng mga ito. Hindi po ito titigil hanggang masisid at masimot natin ang lahat ng pwedeng malaman ukol sa sindikatong ito. At kung paano nila nagawa ang pagsasamantala sa ating bansa upang magawa namin ang aming sworn duty at constitutional responsibility para mapalakas sa ating mga batas 
at maprotektaan ang lahat ng Pilipino. Marami po ang nababahala. Marami ang nagsasabi, puro investigasyon. Wala namang mangyayari dyan. Hindi po ito nagtatapos sa trabaho ng Quadcom. Ang investigasyon na ito na aming binibigyan ng panahon, pagod, ay simula lamang. We will come out with recommendation to address this. Cleansing, paglilinis, mahirap, pero gagawin po namin at kakayanan namin dahil ito po ay para sa sambayan ng Pilipino. Hindi po ito makaka-operate kung walang mga Pilipinong tumutulong sa gawain ito. Wala pa rin po tayong wala pa rin po tayo sa financial links. Kulang pa to completely paralyze them is to cut the financial stream o ang agos ng pera. Hindi lang po ito ang laban ng Kongreso. Laban po natin ito bilang mga Pilipino. Sino ba naman ang hindi nagahangad ng mas maayos na mabuting Pilipinas?